the Dominion defamation lawsuit against Fox News just keeps revealing so much um, in terms of fascinating batches of information and insight into what's or what was going on behind the scenes during the period of time after Trump lost the 2020 election, before he left office, and all that went on to produce the on-air insanity that we watched on Fox News lying about the election in such severe ways, allowing for so much mis- and disinformation to prevail on um, air. And I want to get to new emails that have been revealed and new bits of testimony that have been revealed. And then I'm going to show you an example of what this bonker stuff on air looked like in case you've forgotten. But before we do that, some big news in regard to this defamation lawsuit here from ABC News. Um, let me see. Yes, ABC News. The judge overseeing Dominion Voting System's billion dollar defamation suit against Fox News in a major ruling Friday ordered the case will go to trial, rebuffing efforts by Fox to have it dismissed before a Delaware jury is seated in mid-April. And this is a big deal. Um, it's going to trial. A jury is going to be seated. It's at mid-April. And this is historic. This is a very significant moment. Will Fox News be held accountable for their blatant, over-the-top, dangerous lies? We will see. Um, but getting to the newest batch of information we've gotten from these leaked emails and um, testimony and all this, starting with a uh, senior vice president emailing uh, individuals at Fox about Tucker Carlson tonight. And take a look at this email, and then we'll discuss framing the left in terms of a rise of socialism. The right will be keen to frame a Biden presidency as a vessel for a radical left committed to enacting socialism framing any and all policy announcements as socialism and taken from an AOC Bernie Sanders playbook will likely animate Tucker's core audience. So talking about Tucker's show, they're saying, let's just label everything as socialism, which we know that happened because they're constantly doing it, right? This is socialism, that's socialism, um, with no understanding about socialism or if you're applying socialism to this, then you'd have to apply to this, but you don't. If you're saying you know, the actions the Biden administration is taking, those are all socialism. Then you would have to say Medicare, Social Security, stuff like that, gotta go too, because those are government programs and all of that socialism. Um, but of course, not very logically consistent as will not come as a shock to you. But it almost answers a little bit of the question that we have sometimes of why is it that these talking points just are not present and then boom, they're present. And the socialism one has been present for a long time, but most the time, it's not because there's an actual memo sent around. We will joke sometimes when all of a sudden a conspiracy theory is being talked about all the time. Was there a memo going around right wing media? Everyone has to talk about this. And while that's not exactly what this is, it's sort of that. I mean, uh, a vice president saying, hey, let's label everything as socialism. That would be great. And then all of a sudden we're gonna hear socialism, socialism, socialism as a fear-mongering device, not an articulation of reality. Um, and then we get to some testimony. This is from Lou Dobbs, who hosted Lou Dobbs Tonight and was one of the bonkers conspiracy theorists, uh, brought Sidney Powell on to spread all her nonsense. And we'll get to the very interview, Lou Dobbs interviewing Sidney Powell that is being referred to here at the end of the segment. But first, the question was, your, uh, this is again, his testimony. You broadcast on your show on November 30th, the claim that quote, we need frankly to stop the election that's supposed to happen in January because all the machines are infected with the software code that allows Dominion to shave votes for one candidate and give them to another and other features that do the same thing. Close quote. Did you have, had you seen any evidence from Ms. Powell or anyone else to support that claim? And Lou Dobbs says, You'll never guess. No. Did you tell your audience that? No. Meaning, did you tell your audience you had no evidence for the things Sidney Powell was saying and you were supporting? No. It was a false statement that Powell had revealed groundbreaking new evidence on your show indicating that the 2020 presidential election came under a massive cyber attack orchestrated with the help of Dominion, wasn't it? Yes, that's correct. It's an overstatement. You don't believe that's a false statement? A false statement. It's an overstatement. I concur. Question, you concur with what? That it's a false statement or I said yes. 
<laughs> so not wanting to say the words, it was a false statement, but he's saying a false statement. It's an overstatement. I concur. So he said I f a false statement, but wanting to frame it as an overstatement, but then, okay, yeah, it was, I get it. A false statement. Ugh. Um, and then this interview and keep in mind him agreeing false statement. He didn't have evidence at the time because we're going to watch him pretend like Sidney Powell is not completely off um, the deep end. This email isn't super interesting to read, but uh, this is the CEO emailing uh, Rupert Murdoch, Lachlan Murdoch, and talking about wanting to fire, as they ended up doing, individuals who helped to call the Arizona uh during the presidential election, calling Arizona for Biden, which they were correct. It did go for Biden, but MAGA was really mad that Arizona got called for Biden. Fox News was the first network to call it um, there. And then final email we'll look at here. This is two uh, vice presidents, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, two vice presidents emailing back and forth. And one of them says, She's refusing to drastically change the open despite the fact check. She says uh, just because the case was dismissed does not legally mean that the affidavit can't be true. I guess that is valid, but some, uh, but seems pretty desperate to me. So vice presidents are talking back and forth. One of them saying the monologue that uh, Judge Janine, Janine Pirro is going to do riddled and uh, with things that aren't true. And this has been fact checked and we know what she's going to say is not true, but she's refusing to change her monologue. And of course, she just continued to go put that out on the air. Yet another example of when we were going, how do people not know this is not true? What on earth is going on? These Fox hosts are lying. Even people behind the scenes, their bosses in a sense recognized that indeed conspiracy theory was just spewing. Um, but it continued. And now I'll show you the interview that was being referenced in that Lou Dobbs testimony with Sidney Powell. So bonkers. Joining us now is Sidney Powell. She's former federal prosecutor, uh, General Michael Flynn's defense attorney, a great American, and and I know for I disagree for a fact uh, as busy as she can possibly be working all hours of the day. Sydney, thanks for taking the time to be with us. Let me start by just saying uh, this time is yours uh, right now. Uh, this audience, most of America wants to know where are we in this fight for the White House? For this <laughs> in this fight for the White House this is his question. Where are we on that fight? And this is November 30th, 2020, after the election. And he's saying, where are we on the fight for the White House? It's over. It's over, Lou. Well, we are making great progress, Lou. We have one case in the, in the court in Georgia that's getting ready to go to the 11th Circuit. We're going to ask for emergency review of that, where we sought to s impound all the voting machines in Georgia. And we need, frankly, to stop the, the election that's supposed to happen in January, because all the machines are infected with the software code that allows Dominion to shave votes for one candidate and give them to another and other features that do the same thing. And we filed a suit also in Michigan and we're preparing suits for several other states. And as I'm so that's what was going on. Um, and I think the fascinating question when we look at some of these um, instances is, and I don't even mean this in a name callie way. I, I, I genuinely mean it. It's almost like a game, but a really sad and disturbing game. Dishonest or delusional when it comes to Sidney Powell? We know a lot of these hosts, Lou Dobbs saying, I didn't have evidence. <laughs> Sidney Powell, Rudy Giuliani. Mike Lindell seems to be just someone who has absolutely no marbles left and actually believes a lot of these things. Um, where does Sidney Powell fall in that? dishonest or delusional. But all we know is very inaccurate and dangerous stuff coming out of uh, Fox News during that time and continuing to this day. Tucker Carlson constantly mentioning that the election um, wasn't legitimate. And because of that, 
63% of the Republican Party believes Biden's election win was illegitimate. And that is a very dangerous thing for people to believe, to be believing without evidence.